universe consists of stars, supernovas, or the freezing cold of outer space. That's the universe of Einstein, with time speeding up and time slowing down. We are the oddballs. We are the exception. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Shoot the freaking, freaking head. 15 shots, 5 hours, 35 shots a set. Anybody can play this game. That's why our intuition, our common sense, fails us when we want to understand the universe. Some people complain that we physicists keep coming up with weirder and weirder concepts. The reason is we are actually getting closer and closer to the truth. So if we physicists keep coming up with crazier and crazier ideas, that's because that's the way the universe really is. The universe is crazier than any of us really expected. The question is whether the universe is crazy enough to allow us to travel through time at will, to break Einstein's golden rule and travel to the past. Some people think it is. It's long been claimed that if people could travel through time at will, then would be surrounded by tourists from the future. But how do we know we are? In the United States, there are a number of people who claim to have traveled in time. And they will quite happy. How many time travels? I think there are probably thousands. I think it's quite possible that there are thousands of people that are doing this. Patricia Retz has written a number of books about real life time travels. There's two types of technology that go into time travel. One is the nuts and bolts where you would get into a machine and dial and say you want to go to a certain year and a certain place and the machine would take you and it would work something like Star Trek where you would disassemble and then be reassembled at a different location. The other type of time travel that's possible to use your mind to go through uh, time portals. And his father's dream. I've never time traveled because I might wander into a situation that I wouldn't have the knowledge to deal with. For example, if I ran into a dinosaur, I don't know how I would kill it or capture it. And, and if I went ahead in the future and had a robot after me, I don't know what I would do about that. New Orleans seems somehow appropriate for Patricia's research. A city which feels like it might be on the edge of one of her time portals. She's here to meet a voyager in time. Called Aggie, he claims to have his very own time machine. In the beginning when I was working with this machine, I couldn't get anything to happen. But after I started manipulating my brainwave pattern at the same time, I started getting flashes of light coming from the side into my field of vision. And I found myself walking down the street and I walked up to a newspaper stand and I picked up a newspaper and I was able to read that newspaper and that newspaper was six months into the future. <laughs> 